All right, guys, what's up? Nick here. I'm on the phone right now, so but uh, bringing in some Eclipse content. So there it is. That's this is my 1997. Uh, what is it? Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, or Eagle Talon? Um, came with the 420A Chrysler motor. But uh, yeah, I just decided to kind of like show you guys the car because I never really introduced you. But but uh, here you go. Um, it has like six different colors right now because like I'm a 240 see that like there's literally like I think I have four different colors on here I have the silver the white spoiler and then the, the kind of blaze red I forgot what the code name is but the original color is the Cayenne red pearl but yeah um, I guess we can start on exterior this is the clear coat <laughs> But uh, yeah, it definitely needs some paint. Right now, it's not like priority since I actually got this car in 2020. And uh, yeah, just constantly fixing the parts and everything. But um, yeah, I think we can start in the front. So this lip here is a um, garage door seal lip. <laughs> yeah, those are just put on with self tappers. And then we got the uh, fog lights. Um, those are actually, I installed them and they actually are with the running lights but i'll soon figure out the wiring for that but yeah they work functionally again these didn't come with the car so yeah um moving on those are just oem headlights these turn signals here are actually um led i actually put a strip here and uh yeah maybe i get some night shots and uh if you guys see my other car then my car at night then you'll see these pretty bright I may I may want to change that to a sequential but I don't know yet so uh, I think that's it for the front what else this side this side doesn't work I don't know why <laughs> this uh, turn signal used to work I don't know what happened to it or it's connected to the running light but I don't know what happened to it this this uh, wiper thingy wiper blades I changed and painted them they're still pretty good doesn't didn't crack yet but uh, yeah um this is new <laughs> but uh yeah if we go into side here this is pretty much the side profile um here we have the side skirts those are the 2gb uh those are the straight bottom side skirts uh before i didn't know the difference but yeah that is the um these are not koenigs by the way these are <laughs> i think these are called um jx7s or something i have no idea it's just a normal so these are on stock springs right now, but I do have the uh, Tane coilovers or the Tane right adjustable um, coilovers. Um, they're not really dampening adjustable, but they just adjust the height. But here's that gap right there. It's about five. As you can see, the rotor, it's all rusted out. You got to change those, drilled and slotted. You know, you know, um, stock uh, 420A 2G calipers with the uh, performance brake pads by napa <laughs> i'll show you guys how to put this uh side skirt on there as well um but yeah it, it's still holding on there i just use self tapper screws for the bottom so i think that's it for the right height or the exterior and then the other side kind of looks weird too now if we rip it around in the back as you can see i don't have the side skirt on there so i'll save that for the video uh, here is the bottom of the car as you can see we got the Pikachu just chilling on the ground for some reason Here's the back I've, as you can see everybody knows my taillights right there um, I actually built these before I even got the car <laughs> That's the same lip you in the front. It's the uh, garage door seal lip and then I just cut it to exhaust So yeah, hopefully we can get a decent exhaust. I don't want a cat back I don't know why I've been seeing all the videos about like the cat backs and all that, but I really don't want one so that is the back of the car. Um, as you can see, I still have the low rise holes. Um, I'm gonna do something about it. I don't know how to get through these holes though. And yeah, put it right there. One big one here. And then this spoiler is not really mounted. Okay, now we're going into the interior. Oh! So we look inside the Eclipse. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can get a good picture of that, but. As you can see, it's very, very super like. Um, that's why probably a lot of people like this body style. Is that famous like um, styling over like the driver, and it kind of cuts off of the passenger. But uh, yeah, here is the interior. It's the 
tan and black i got the cloth um i got it from joann's i thought it would look cool what you gonna call it sun visors as you can see i did the whole thing so these are okay <laughs> um, we got no light working here here is our radio it's just an average uh, my friend aaron gave it to me just because i don't want to use a fucking fm am it's like 2022 man while we're using that all right guys so here it is here is the 420a um chrysler motor um as you can see i did a lot to it already you can tell already um i'll probably put up pictures or if you guys see my other instagram posts and other uh, stores and all that you'll see that all the um, maintenance and everything i had to do with it but here's your basic uh, i don't know where i start but here's your um engine short ram intake i got this from drunk gsx gerardo over here what you guys don't see underneath the heat shield is a big ass crack so we're gonna have to figure out the manifold for that i'm not gonna go anything like uh, aftermarket or anything like that just because i want it to pass smog if you guys seen it i haven't registered this thing hasn't been registered since 2018 bro got the red valve cover this is actually a wrinkle paint as you can see um i did sand down the lettering there i'm gonna send it out a little bit more um to pair that off we got the msd uh, ignition coil which standard uh, plugs right there just for a standard replacement um if you guys haven't seen it already this car has been not starting for like four months um due to like a timing issue so i'll go ahead and show you the cam gears right there so you can see the cam gears um it's not tdc or anything but I'll try to zoom in as best as i can here um you see that mark where it says r it says a retard so that means the um degree is back um as you can see now this intake cam is actually off or is advanced by one degree and this is zeroed in so um when if you guys looked at my other instagram post that um saw the camshaft holes there weren't actually directly 12 o'clock so i had to fix that so that one or the intake camshaft and the exhaust camshaft are both 12 o'clock so it started right away and I freaked out so um, if you check out the harness back there it's kind of hidden I got it under under the um, or over the EGR tube so it's not gonna hit any wires zip tied right there um, there's no special timing belt or anyway anything it's just a, it's just a gates one actually but I think that's it um, so yeah this is a pretty good engine especially um, if you're just starting out you don't want to deal with like the turbo versions or anything but um, yeah I pretty much got everything done um, there's still a couple things I want to do still as you can see there's a little paint chipping and surface rust on that I think that's the heated core lines so that goes down there goes back into the block as you can see those need to definitely repaint as well as the manifold for um, the proper uh, air to fuel ratio um, and then the coolant right, right now I can't show you because it's hot as hell but um, if you guys saw all the posts of uh, like it's watery but it's not like chunky so um, definitely gonna need to flush it out with a hose and everything but uh, yeah I think that's it um, that covers the engine the exterior and all that so again I just wanted to make the car uh, reliable as I can and uh, stay true through the miles because 300k miles you know people would say like that would you know break down the car or it's gonna blow soon but you know the car is still running good and uh, yeah hopefully we can make it run for quite a while uh, for exterior wise I don't know I don't know yet probably yellow <laughs> alright guys so we're gonna go ahead and try to start it for you guys um, now before I had a ignition kill I'm gonna go ahead and wire that after I do all that uh, mission stuff but for now it's just gonna be the key and just pray to god it doesn't get stolen so <laughs> um, so let's go ahead clutch in on position and let's go there you go now another thing is like that that temperature right there it should be at middle but it, it fluctuates between like the middle point and then the out or the the coldest just because the the thing isn't bleed, bleeding right and this is a whole different venture but look at that idle baby 
It is a little bounce, but you know, that's just a DSM thing, I guess. I don't. I haven't trained my my body yet to kind of put it in front of my camera, but um, yeah. If you guys want any more questions on how to make it start or whatever, what's going on in your eclipse, uh, just let me know. You know, um, I pretty much revived the thing. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave down in the comments. I got more taillight stuff coming in, so uh, just go ahead and click that like button. See you guys. Peace.